Hi, welcome to Believe the Bible. Paul's three major teachings, not only are they major teachings for the body of Christ, the people today, but they are teachings that are not found anywhere else in God's Word. Number one, salvation by grace alone, through faith alone. In Christ alone, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace ye are saved through faith, and not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Paul is the only writer that talks about being saved through the death, burial, and resurrection by putting our trust in that and that alone. Then we could be saved, have our sins forgiven, and be in heaven for all eternity. The second teaching is the body of Christ. Paul is the only one that speaks of the body of Christ. Nowhere else in Scripture do you find that. 1 Corinthians 12, 27 says, Now ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. Paul's talking to the Corinthian believers that are made up of Jew and Gentile. There was no difference. Romans 11.6 says that we're saved by grace. And if it's added works to it, then grace is no longer grace. But if we have to be saved by works, then works would be no more works if we add grace to it. And Romans also in chapter 4, verses 4 and 5, talks about that we are not saved by works because works are a debt. And God is never indebted to us to save us. Also in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Paul talks about his gospel is that we need to believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's how we're saved. Otherwise, further in the chapter, he says, then our faith is in vain, and it'd be worthless if we don't believe in the death, burial, and resurrection, particularly the resurrection in that chapter. And number three, our blessed hope. That is also called the rapture by many people, the translation, the catching up, being caught up, however you want to phrase it. I know the word rapture is not in the Bible and people have a thing about that, but neither is the word Bible in the Bible. <laughs> we look at 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18, and it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Verse 17, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Verse 18, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. This event is only spoken by Paul. And I like that last verse, verse 18, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now, some people think we're in the tribulation now or that we're going to go through the tribulation. Well, <laughs> where's the comfort in that? Comfort one another with these words is the fact that we see Christ and we're going to be changed and go to be with him. That's the comfort. There's no comfort thinking that we're going through a seven-year tribulation period or even a three-and-a-half-year tribulation period and that God is going to judge and pour out His wrath to the nations and, and this earth. No, that, there's no comfort in that, but there is comfort to know that we will be changed. In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed and we'll be like Christ. That's if we're alive. If we're dead, we'll be going a little bit before that. <laughs> so there it is, Paul's important doctrines. Salvation by faith, by grace in Christ alone. Number two, the, the body of Christ, only spoken by Paul, and the rapture. All these things are all spoken by Paul and Paul alone. Salvation, body of Christ, and the rapture. All three of these things were considered a mystery. A mystery is something that's hid until it's made known. We read these things in Ephesians chapter 3, Ephesians chapter 2, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 2 Thessalonians, and it's, there's scripture all over that explain these things that were hidden in God, that were a secret, unsearchable, not be, to be known by anyone before the Apostle Paul came on the scene. Thanks for your time. You have a good day.